I'm Keith with Truck Customs, and I'm going to show you a little bit about this six-door 4x4 four four and uh, the option switches, how to operate the bed, the location of these items. Starting up front, we have our driving lights and our fog lights, we have our front-mounted camera, we have our 15K winch up here in the front, winch control modules right here, winch cable will be located inside the vehicle. Just pop this cover off, plug your winch in, and you're ready to go. We got front air ride on this unit. Got our Pro Comp reservoir shocks. Got the 445s. Diesel on both sides. Have our amp research and development steps by four. Operate when you open and close the door. We got a gas key, but it must be on the other side. Take this cover off here. Got some storage here. You can keep your uh, auxiliary fuel nozzle or jumper cables or anything like that you may need for somebody to help out on the road. Got our battery box right here. Two snaps on the side. Expose your three batteries. Vehicle. Get 25k hitch here. Get our seven way auxiliary air output, auxiliary fuel output. And this, these lights here, this plug, this uh, six way goes to your bed. And I'll explain to you the importance of this before removing the Kelderman roll off bed here in just a minute. Uh, we have our four lights in the back which if you do decide to leave the bed off at home, you're still legal to drive down the road. Got another battery box here. Just using it for storage. Have our auxiliary fuel, fuel line in there. This is where our auxiliary fuel goes. Whether it's 93 octane or 100 octane, it says gas on top of it. Uses the same key as the diesel caps to use to get in to uh, to fill it. Um, I'm going to show you while we're outside here how to operate this Kelderman roll-off bed. Number one, you want to dump the airbags. Just turning your key on and hitting your airbag switch. When we go through our inside switches, I'll show you all the ones on the inside. Very important. Very, very important. And you unplug this bed switch. And I just kind of set it up under here. Where your light wires. On your remote control unit, got an unlock and a lock button. You want to push unlock. Now, as I'm working this out, Making sure that the nose of the bed stays away. Making sure the nose of the bed stays away from the end of the chassis. 
So it just takes it just takes uh, a little bit of uh, getting used to, but you can work this no problem after two or three times of uh, going up and down with it. And going back up is the same thing. Once you secured your load, if you do put a, a motorcycle or anything in there, it's best to secure the load. Uh, and then you just want to work it the same way. Just being very careful. After, when you see it's getting closed, just work the other side. So you can go on your hook. It's going to take it up like that. Plug your lights back in. And you're good to go. Now let's take a look at some of the switches on the inside and some of the options we have on the interior of this vehicle. All right, now that we're on the inside of the vehicle, we're gonna go through some of the options and uh, switches and things that we have going on in here. Um, I'll start over on the left-hand side. You've got your standard Super Duty windows, mirrors, child safety locks, and or window locks, uh, door locks, got your dimmer control, and headlights, parking lights. Um, you can see through here where you're at. We've got, when your parking lights are on, these are your driving, uh, driving lights here. You have your power programmer here which has three settings. I think all uh, number number all the way left is off. Then you have a one and a two. You have your big air horn. And then you have your fuel pump here, which go which coincides with the fuel pump hose that we have on the right hand rear of the vehicle. You just plug it in, you turn that switch on, and you're going. Now these are your uh, air levels on the truck. You have a red and a uh, green. It should always be in the range of about 120, you know. Um, you got your cruise controls. Um, you cannot set this even at idle, turning this thing on. Just idle it up a little bit. It's cold outside or anything like that. Almost like a PTO. Just idles the truck up a little bit. All right, base knob controls the uh, JL 500 slash one and the four tens that are in the rear. Um, turn them up or down for your liking. It's a K40 radar detector here. You got highway, the city, the outer one's your volume. This is your air dump. I'm gonna fill that back up since we just got through going through our uh, Kelderman roll off bed. <clears throat> you have your front spreaders here, which are right beside your driving lights. You got your strobe lights here. You got four corners. You got a light bar here. You got a light bar in the back window. You can see it's got strobe lights all over it. Um, four wheel drives, transfer case in or out. High and low. Things will light up to let you know that they're engaged. Third row window uh, switches to roll your third row that we added in here is up and down. Um, they have a front and rear camera here, which works when you're going forward. You just want to push map twice, go to rear view, hit the camera. Got a front have a rear so you can change it either way or if you're in reverse it'll also work the same way you 
Just by putting it in reverse, you can check that out either way in full screen. Um, Daddy Cool Box in the first and second row. In the uh, the, the three-way switch in the middle. The middle is off. You got a, a one and a two setting. One is one is uh, is on with the ignition, and two is on until the voltage of the vehicle uh, goes down below uh, ten and a half or something volts, and it'll uh, it'll actually shut the unit down. But it's good for getting in and out of the vehicle, uh, keeping your drinks cold. Seat heaters located on the side of the Daddy Cool Box, first and second row. Um, just an on-off switch with a little seat heater icon on it. Um, got our electric, uh, Prodigy electric brake control down here. Got our JL Audio 653 uh, three-way component sets in here. They, uh, it's a JL six and a half, four inch, and a uh, tweeter. Um, we have our drink holder. On the inside of these, you'll find a PlayStation 2 in first and second row. So you actually have two PlayStation 2s in the vehicle. Um, this one, of course, operates the TV overhead here, and the second one operates the TV overhead in the second row. I think that just about concludes this interior and exterior of this vehicle. If there are any questions, you can always give us a call. 1-888-650-TRUCK. Well, thank you.